Hello and welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. I am experiencing some lag problems today. We did kind of start tier 3, so that would uh, slightly explain it, but hopefully it isn't going to be too uh, detrimental on today's video. So, first of all, we've got to refuel the pickup because we have, uh, well, I have just experienced a very strange glitch, I can only assume it is. Basically, we've got over a quarter of a tank, about a third of a tank, and uh, I was just driving over to the store, the warehouse, and it just randomly dumped the contents of its tank out onto the ground. So I just completely ran out of fuel in a split second, despite having quite a lot. Oh, we are we're refueling with the engine running. Health and safety, do not be looking at this, please. Anyway, that should be good. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got a few shout-outs to do today. And the first one doesn't actually go to anyone in particular, because there's been so many different people who have said this. But we're going to be going um, back to tier number one today, which a few of you may think is just completely weird because we were already on tier two, moving on to tier three. But apparently, tier one can really help everybody who is just starting off from fresh. Uh, I suppose if you don't want a spoiler, just skip forwards now. But I'm told that if we do tier one to about an ounce, if we get about an ounce of gold, there is a very high chance of actually finding an incredibly big gold nugget, which is worth well, not hundreds of thousands, but tens of thousands. So, that's what we're going to do, because that is obviously a very quick way of making money, although we are going to have to spend a bit more money first on uh, a sluice box extension and also on some matting for the sluice box. Otherwise, it shouldn't be too costly. Secondly, we've got a bit of a breakdown here. Now, this is very strange because I don't know if it's just something which is supposed to be there or if it is a problem which I have just encountered, um, which the game is supposed to give you at a certain point in the game. Yeah, I meant the simulator in a certain point in the game, but still. Um, the, the problem is, we have got no oil pressure at all. And uh, obviously to people in real life, you're going to be pretty concerned if you've got no oil pressure. Could be a faulty gauge, could be an actual fault with the excavator. But as you can see, revving it up, no movement on the needle at all from the oil pressure. So, that leads me to believe there is a problem with something um, with the oil delivery. Now, this is not digger mechanics or whatever, mechanic simulator, it is Gold Rush the game, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know if there is too much in the way of mechanics on this thing. There is a fuel filter just here and I suppose we should try and change it if it has some bizarre link with the... Um... There's a lot of flickering. My graphics need to be changed. Yeah, if it's got some bizarre link with the oil pressure then I suppose we should try it. I'll buy a new one just see how it goes, but otherwise the oil pressure is a bit of a mystery. So we're going to go down to the warehouse, we're going to buy several items, hopefully the lag doesn't become too much of a problem, and one second I'm about to change the graphics. Okay, so that has improved the graphics, the shadows were a bit crazy. I had dropped it down to mid graphics from high, just because of the problem I'm getting with lag at the moment, but it should sort itself out momentarily. Good grief! Where on earth did that thing come from? The first comments are even coming through into the game now. They're like a plague. Well, all the environments seem to have loaded now, so if there are any lag problems, which there does seem to be still, there's a bit of a load there, then, uh, well, we'll just have to live with it, I think, because it's just... just seems to be like that, I suppose. Some people said it's not very well optimised and stuff. To be fair, though, when I'm not recording, it is perfectly smooth for me, so... I don't know. It doesn't like certain screen recorders, I don't think. Anyway, leave that there. There is the jerry can which many people have told me about. I finally picked it up, so thank you everybody. Um, got a, a shout out for Jonathan J, who I believe, and he claims that he was the first person to tell me about the pickup, about loading stuff into the back of the pickup by walking in. Um, I think he was the first one, although there were quite a lot of people, so I can't really say for sure. Um, but there's a shout out for you. Let me just pick up this fuel filter. If this does fix the oil pressure problem, then that is that is very strange. But it's worth a go, because you never know, it could be a very odd setup. Two of these we require. The hog pan mats and then sluice box extension. Hopefully we can catch more gold. Otherwise, I think we're good. We could actually put a pump on, but I don't really want to. So that sorts that out. Um, <laughs> the reason why is because we, we've got a good setup anyway. All I want really is to get this one ounce of gold or whatever it is, so we can uh, 
legitimately move forwards with lots of money. So I don't think there is anything else that we require. I don't even know what these things are, so it will become clear later. The wash plant springs and stuff. So you obviously do need spare parts for things. It is pretty laggy in here. But hopefully that's all we need for today. I don't want to keep spending too much money. Let's walk outside. To be fair, when I did drop the graphics setting before to medium, although it made the graphics atrocious, uh, it did improve the uh, the frame rate. So, I don't know, there's a compromise, isn't there? You can have smooth video and worse graphics, or laggier and better graphics. This was fine though, like I say, it was fine before I progressed too far into it. So maybe the further you get into a save game, the uh, harder it is to run. Many people have told me. In fact, I have another shout out. The mystery one. Here's a shout out for you. Just a heads up, with tier 3 setup, it has a massive memory leak. It comes after setup is complete. My RAM went from 2.9 gigabytes to no, 27.4. Uh, very laggy, almost unplayable. So I went out and restarted in uh, loaded to 3.1 gigabytes game. Works fine, no lag anymore. Hope it, this helps. Few missing commas there, but I think we understand it. So, yep, thank you to uh, the mystery one. Very mysterious. But, yeah, you're not the only person anyway who has experienced a problem. Many people have. And I think I am starting to be one of them. Is that everything? I think it is. That's good. Brilliant. Okay. Let's uh, just reverse out of here. This was the point last time. You never saw it because I've cut it out. But last time when I was here, um, I had a serious problem with the fuel. It just dumped a third of the tank out onto the ground, which was just weird. We can go this way. The police station. Then the heavy equipment dealer just over here. It's definitely lagging. To be almost unplayable, I have to say. But hopefully that doesn't affect it. Um, obviously you, you're entitled to dislike the video if you want to, but if you're going to base it on uh, the lagging of the game, that's not really rating my video, but fair enough. Uh, one more comment, one more shout out here. A cooler. Dagoin, you need all the sluice boxes to get the tier 3 plants running. That's these sluice boxes over here. Because I did question if we needed all of them. How many are there? Four? Um, I think so. Oh no, wait. There's more. Another one here. Five. And apparently, yes, you do need to have all of them. In fact, somebody else said, I can't remember who it was now. I've got a few shout outs anyway. Um, somebody else said that you needed to buy absolutely everything in here to be able to do tier 3. I'm guessing that includes the largest excavator, but I'm not too sure. So, <laughs> apparently, we need £400,000, or $400,000. I don't know if it is quite that much, but, yeah, I can see where you're going with that. I would say, yeah, at least 150000 maybe, yeah. Oh, so if you're going to include the, the small excavator as well, and everything you need for Tier 2, then that does make sense. Anyway, I'm hoping when we go over to the Tier 1 area, the lag will disappear, because there's not really too much to load around there. I really hope they can sort out this problem with the frame rate issue very soon. Uh, oh, we might as well stop here too. We could just have an entire episode picking up the parts that I've lost. I don't think we'll ever find the uh, the hood of the pickup. That's lost forever. A few people said, where's your hood gone? <laughs> how, how have you even broken it off? Well, I, I find a way for everything. I have indeed broken off the bonnet of the pickup. So, yep. A new achievement is gained. I think that having the trailer on the back does make this pickup a bit more stable. It's still very possible to handbrake turn and stuff, but it's uh, a bit more bearable to drive. You see? We're back here now, and the lag is completely gone. Perfectly smooth. It's just when you're moving about. So we only want to get one thing out of here, and that is the fuel filter. Not that we really need it, I don't think. It's just it's worth a go. If anybody else does know about the fuel pressure, no, the oil pressure, then uh, it would be appreciated if you can let me know about it. But I actually vaguely remember this issue with the demo, so I don't know if it's just got a broken fuel gauge and it actually does have good pressure and you don't ever have to do anything about it. I'm not too sure. So we mustn't get them mixed up. They do look very similar. You go off there and you go back onto there. Start up before we close it down. 
No. Well, it was hardly expected, really, considering it's a fuel filter and we've got an oil pressure problem. But, I don't know. What else can it be? It's, it's nothing you can really do. It's not a mechanics game, so... Maybe it's something else which is just there for show. Could be. Come on. Let me up. I need to close stuff down. Actually, is there anything else in here that can be touched? No. Nothing at all. So we'll leave it at that. We don't even need the excavators today anyway, so we'll just leave it. We're going to be working with our hand shovel. It's like a punishment. Going back from the excavator to a hand shovel. But it really isn't because of the... Hopefully, because of the amount of money we're going to get. Not saying we're going to. It might be just a bit of luck for some people, but hopefully. We'll try it out at least. At least we can say we tried. That's part there now, so let's just not get stuck on this hose pipe, which I have left lying around. Um, we don't actually need the hose pipes, so just take them out for the time being. We have got this uh, sluice. Is it a sluice box? It is, isn't it? The extension, which goes just there. Um, we've already got two mats installed. We'll install the other two. I think I took my buckets away. We do need the buckets. See, that's just weird. It's it's all laggy here, and if you just walk over to here, at least before, you just walk into a really smooth running area. So it's almost as if you get into a zone where a certain machine is, and it just messes it up. Maybe it's just my extreme amount of hoses lying around. They probably should be raveled up. Reeled up, I should say. Um, right, so, let me just uh, get my shovel out, and we can uh, commence digging, I think. Yeah, because there's no... We need the bucket for water and stuff. So, yep. Let's get that shovel. Not a bad hole we've made so far. Obviously, we can't actually do much without the water until we've uh, got it put on there. If you put the pump on, then that will save that job. If it does start to take too long, we could get the pump, but it's more money. We have the pump and everything, but we have the wrong um, box. Okay, I think that is full. Yep. Change tools again. Uh, and we need to just look around for our bucket, which I'm pretty sure we did have here. Looks like it might have disappeared. Right, okay, it has. I'll run over to where the excavator is then, and we can bring one over. The bucket points out the blindingly obvious. Do not run with the bucket. Everybody in this game is going to run with the bucket. That is almost as if it's been put there as a joke, because it's just obviously what everybody's going to do. Health and safety. Right, we need water. Can fill it up from here. Don't drop it. Is to use it. Put it into here. Should start to run through. You see that was perfectly smooth frame rate just then. It's only when you're moving about. So the, I think the theory is, if you've got more mats, then there's more to catch. You can see there, the first two have picked up 8%, the others have picked up now 4 um, Now that 4 would originally have been wasted. It would have gone into the river. So it's really just battling wastage. Same with the magnetite separator. Many people have told me to put a bucket under the dirt section and re -sieve it, because there is potentially more gold still in there. So thank you to everybody who has been posting these very helpful comments. Uh, in the long term, it's going to make us much more wealthy, more profitable. Although, we need to still be able to play this. If I, if I can't get this lag sorted out, then we're going to be stuck. And there'll be no more episodes of Gold Rush, and that's not going to go down well. Is that everything? Yep. Okay. Get that shovel out again. Not the bucket. You can put it in the bucket, but I think it's only got a capacity of one shovel load, so it's kind of pointless. It does. Weird. 
got stuck here before. If you stand in a really bad crater, you can get stuck completely. You have to reset the player. It's kind of annoying that bucket being there. After the first load, we got 10% in the first two and 5% in the second two. So if it was to continue, we should have 10% in the second two and 20% in the other two. If this is all going to work out exactly the same. Let's just see. But we can't really continue when the first two mats are full. Um, I suppose, well it may run over actually, it may run over straight into the third and fourth. Um, but I don't want to be wasting too much. Is that going to be enough? Yep, I would say so. So that was actually really bad. Really bad. Time for the third load. As you can see, it's 100% full again. Now, if we were to get this very large piece of gold, then surely it's going to fill up one of these mats incredibly full. It's going to make it really full. So I don't know if it's just instantly obvious if you have got a, a really decent gold nugget or if it's just something you find out later when you do your panning. I'm not too sure. Mm, so, again, there isn't an awful lot, but who's to say until we've actually put it into the gold pan? It's starting to go dark now. Right, next load. No, into there. We need to wash it through. Um... Amazingly, the third and fourth mats are filling up a considerable amount. Things which you'd expect the first two to catch. Maybe it is a sign. A sign of lots of gold for us in a minute or two. Would be nice to fill up 100%, but it looks like it's going to take a very long time. One more bucket of water. Well, I think we're going to call it a day in a second because we're running out of light and we've done a lot here. It doesn't feel like it, maybe for you, because I've been doing a lot of jump cuts and lots of screen, but I actually thought you could fill up these mats fairly quickly, but it looks like to fill up a mat, it's going to take a lot of dirt. I don't know how many loads I've done, but it's been a lot. And like I say, I'm really surprised about how the third and fourth mats are catching up with the first two. So I suppose that's the smaller pieces which are being caught by the second load, the third and fourth. Okay, is that it? Yep, okay. So what we need to do now is fill a bucket with water and then we need to take the mats out of here and put them over inside the tent where hopefully there's gonna be some light. And then we're gonna to have to put it into the gold panner and yeah, go from there. There's the first one. Don't knock it over. Things are going well. Okay, that's number one. Now for the second one up here. Good. And finally the first one. Seems very difficult to actually get these things to work. Oh. I see. Right, well, let's go and take it over there. See what we can do. I think we've already got some water. Yeah, we do. Good. So we just put these. Need to empty it a bit first. How do you empty that? You just tip them out. Yep. <laughs> Very effective. Um, so yeah, if I just put this over here, like that, do that, and then tip all this into here, we should have quite a bit. Now for some serious panning. I see gold, I can see stuff. But is it really this amount which we're supposed to be getting? It doesn't look to be. Well, I say we're supposed to be getting it, but are we really? Maybe not. Keep going. Let's keep making sure we've got some uh, water in there.
Is that as much as we get? I think we do. Out of all those loads, I suppose if we did have the pump, then there is a possibility that we would have got more. I think somebody said you need an ounce or something. So maybe there is an ounce there. They actually are quite big nuggets, to be fair. So, I don't know. Let's pick them out. It takes a very steady hand, this does. There's one. There's two. Okay, so <laughs> it's actually looking like we're a very long way from an ounce. Um, yeah. How did you do it? How did these people who say you got so much money, um, how did you get to an ounce so quickly? Did you have the pump running? I think you might have done. Because if you have the pump, you can just keep going. You don't have to keep stopping to put buckets of water through. At least that's what I believe. So, I don't know. But maybe we can try again. Can we get another load? I think that is pretty much all the gold out of there. There doesn't seem to be any more. Which actually is really bad, because we did all of that just to get... What was it? About... Two, yeah, there's two very small pieces, creating a total of 0 0.56, 0 0.056, which doesn't sound very impressive. Well, it was worth a go, I suppose. We could always come back at this at a later date and do it with a pump, um, but I, I don't know, I like to do it with the excavator. The excavator is obviously much faster, and the rewards are very great. Yeah, that is all. No more in here. Might as well tip it out. So there we go. Uh, we didn't find the uh, the ultimate gold nugget today, but we will do at some point. Don't worry. It will come. Um, wow. It's gone dark. It's also gone very smooth as well. No frames per second problems now. Typical for the end of the video. Nice moon. Very nice environment. In fact, if it wasn't for the frame rate problem, this game would be perfect. Because the atmosphere is just fantastic. Couldn't fault it. Anyway, there we go. Um, yep, yeah, see you next time. Bye for now.